Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you my fingernail polish and my acrylic system haul. So this is some of the nail polish remover that I use. You can use any kind. I always get 100% acetone because I tend to soak off my nails um, in the spray bottle that is alcohol. When I first started doing my nails, I used to use the little kits from eBay and then they came with the Cena UV gel and they also came with this generic acrylic system and I stopped using that but we'll get back to that later so I have polishes this is my polish sorry for the lighting but this collection was an overtime this wasn't something of course that I bought all at once but I have the little kit that they as seen on TV you can see those little pins they have the brush on the end and then the pin also where you can do nail art and of course I used to use the gel polishes I also have you know different colors I did see a youtuber use the color club it is a pretty color they have pretty colors and they go on smooth I also use OPI that's nice too this one step gel I actually purchased this from Mary Kari someone was selling this for like ten dollars and I just bought it I used it maybe one time I think I use this color right here and it was nice but I started to purchase more fingernail polish over time because I have been getting my nails done for about 21 years now and I started doing my own nails because it was getting costly of course and it seems to be cheaper when you purchase your own stuff. So this is my fingernail polish. You can purchase these polishes at your local Dollar General, your local CVS, Walgreens, Family Dollar, and the OPI. They sell this at Rite Aid. And I think it's like $10 and they also sell it at Sally's Beauty Supply. So the big bottle, this one right here, I got this at Sally's and this one I purchased from CVS. So this is my fingernail polish. Also, I got these Jealous, Jealous Gel Polish from wish as a matter of fact and I tried to attempt to use them maybe once and when I used the UV light lamp that I have it left a sticky layer on top and one of the bottles as you can see leaked when I purchased it but wish is unpredictable so whatever I also purchased this pencil sharpener because I have like the little sticks where you pick up the gems and put on your finger. I have that, so I use that to sharpen that. This here is also stickers that I got from Wish, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. And this is just extra files and stuff that I had because once upon a time I used to use the Kiss nail system and I will get back to you on that in a few. So right now, I actually don't have a stand 
for my nail polishes I'm actually working on a little nail corner in my house and I don't do other people's nails I only do mine because I'm not professional this is something that I like to do in my spare time because I don't want to go to the salon um, I also watch a youtuber Natalie and I don't want to say her last name wrong but she also has a store I'll link it in the description box and I purchased some items from her and I also purchased an alpha brush she has the link or I can also put the link in the description box so we're just going to open this packaging sorry I'm focusing on my polish but this is the packaging it comes in don't want to show my address but that's the packaging that's a little piece of paper that they give you to tell you what you purchased and here is my alpha brush I got the number nine oval which is the one that Natalie uses in her videos so I also got some stuff from Natalie's website as well but we'll open that in a second this is the packaging from hers but we'll open that in a second so first I'm going to show you this is my acrylic system but we're gonna go from left to right so I purchased this nail drill from eBay and this drill was $45 I think um, I can't remember the link I've had it for maybe a year or less than a year and the reason why I purchased this drill is because I used to have these drills and these drills are the ones that you plug into the wall but when you file on these they stop when you're filing on your actual nail so I actually got rid of those these as you can see are the kiss packages that I used to use a long time ago and I saved the pods when I want to mix acrylics and you can focus on this this is my nail I got these flowers from RCM bling I'll leave the description leave the link in the description box sorry as a matter of fact here's one of her pods RCM nail bling and I actually found this on Instagram but these are the kits I actually these tips come with the kits but I really barely use those um, I actually purchased tips from eBay as well and these are some colored tips that I used to use and these are tricky because sometimes you can't file off this to make it the little the little ashy layer so the acrylic will stick so when you use these tips and you put acrylic on them the acrylic separates from the tip and your nail tips won't last long so these pre designed tips that are smooth I would not recommend purchasing these these have glitter on them they stick pretty well to these but sometimes they won't stick to these either and I have some of my sanding bands in here I got these sanding bands from Sally's also when they flip this over this is where I keep my little pods these pods I actually purchased from the little kits that came with e the eBay stuff as well um it comes like in a bundle you get like the monomer the acrylic system 
and some other little gadgets in there or whatever. I really don't use these because, like I said, I have all that polish because when you use these on your acrylic nails, when you do this, if you have time to keep soaking off and changing designs or whatever, whatever, then you can use these. But I don't use these because of my work schedule. I don't have time to soak off my nails. And by the time I work so much, I don't have the time to soak them off because soaking off your nails takes at least an hour or an hour and a half, depending on, you know, what you have on your nails and whatnot. These little things here are just like little beads. Hopefully it can focus. Little beads and little hearts, um, shells, little designs or whatever. I got that from eBay as well, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, let me put this over there. I'll explain that later. This is another Kiss powder. Um, I have sanding bands in here. Um, this right here is the, what I thought was the dual system where you can put the acrylic inside and you can pop them off the little poppets. But these, I think, are the ones that you're supposed to put the acrylic on and then they stay on because when I attempted to use these, they would not come off of my finger when I applied the acrylic. So I would not um, invest in the generic ones because I was trying to be cheap. I would not invest in the generic ones. These are also some extra sanding bands. Um, this is one of the little molding things that comes with the eBay little system or whatever that I purchased. These are just stickers that comes in the KISS containers. Um, I actually was also, I used to watch this other YouTuber, can't think of her name, but she does stamping on Wednesdays. I can't think of her name, but I can look it up and leave her link in the description box. But I purchased this because um, I actually like the stamps. And if you follow me on Instagram, and I'll leave my link below, then you can see some of my previous um, nail art that I post. And like I said, again, I only do my nails. I've been encouraged to go to school to do other people's nails. But once I find a school that... Um, can go up, work around my school schedule, then I will. Um, moving forward, these are the little pencils that I was telling you about that pick up the bling. And I actually got this bling from Michaels. And I actually ordered some for Natalie's, from Natalie's store because I wanted to support her um, as well. But these are so beautiful, especially these so gorgeous and it was cheap I think I spent $26 on all of these this pack right here was $9.99 and then these were like $1.97 and $3.47 and I also purchased a little sorority jewel box from Natalie's store as well to store those in but we'll get to that later um this is the acrylic cutter when you're doing the what is it the French then you can put do the, your smile line that is supposed to be what that is I've never really used it because typically when I do the French I do the white tips and then put the acrylic over it so I really don't use it I think I was just being long eyed and bought it Moving on, this is my nail, 9 watt nail gel curing UV lamp. I purchased this from eBay, and I think it was maybe $13 or $14, and I've had this for about five years, and it still works. I haven't replaced the bulb yet, but I also purchased a new one, which is coming in the mail sometime later on this week, and I will put another video out when it comes. I also use Glaze and Go NSI 
top coat when I do my acrylic nails. My hands are ashy, I'm sorry. But um, this is the Color Club. And I'll tell you what color that is in a minute. But um, yes, I use NSI Glaze and Go on top of my nails. Um, I also purchased this, which is the nail gel resin and the spray. Um, like I said, I purchased this because um, I do wear gems on my nails sometimes and Natalie suggests using it in her videos. So I purchased that as well. And I did put gems on my finger one time, but um, it didn't work because I didn't let my polish dry. So I ended up having to like scrape everything off because I put regular polish under the UV sealant and my polish wasn't quite dry so it didn't work out these are also extra pods from the little uh, eBay system I think those systems are like $20 or something like that when you purchase them but um, like I said I don't use those anymore these are makeup wedges when you want to do ombre with fingernail polish I typically don't do that I tried to and I failed but like I said I only do my nails and I'm just practicing and playing on my own nails so um, any tips you want to leave leave them in the description box or leave them in the comment section below um, this is your buffer of course it's used but this is a buffer I got this from Walgreens or CVS they sell them for like a dollar two dollars um, these beauty secrets sorry trying to focus these beauty secrets um washable files i got these from where did i get those from i got those from sally's this is actually a new one that i just purchased on yesterday and these are pretty old but they last a long time this is a 100 100 file that I also purchased from Rite Aid as a matter of fact because I didn't have time to go to Sally's this is like foil paper where you can use the glue um the glue was also in my fingernail polish section or whatever but you can use these you put the polish on let the polish dry clear and then put the foil on a lot of you some youtubers but um if you watch natalie's videos she can show you this Ooh, the lighting show you this um and how she applies it in her videos moving on um here's my brush ooh, excuse me my brush collection like i said i just purchased this alpha brush and this brush was 12 12 dollars maybe maybe twelve dollars this is a Pana Kalinsky brush a number six I usually use this because like I said I'm just starting so it kind of worked for me at the time it picks up a little but if you're starting you should start with a little acrylic anyway um I also purchased this Kalinsky German Kalinsky number 12 on eBay I really purchased everything from eBay um this is a, what is this? This is a number, I don't know what size that is. That might be an eight Kalinsky brush. And this is a number eight Kalinsky. And I got all of those from eBay. Of course you have your nail clipper. These little packets come, one comes with this drill And the rest of those, the other two came with those drills. So you have those, but the only one I really use out of here, I used to use, let me show you, see if I can open it. I used to use this one around my cuticle area, but I stopped using that one because I purchased this cuticle bit or this, yeah, nail bit. And I also have the safety bit. I have to clean them. Safety bit. And of course I use this one. Um, so
So some YouTubers, or I'm sorry, some nail techs use the safety bits. Um, this one is super duper sharp. And I really try not to use this one because it will cut your fingers up. I try not to use that one because, like I said, I'm not a professional. And I have cut my fingers from time to time. And I also am sensitive to the sound that it makes on my nails. So um, I try not to use that one as much unless I try to carefully use it around my cuticle area. Um, but otherwise, I don't really use that one unless I have a design like this and I need to take it off but these will most likely be soaked off once I foul off the gel sealant so moving along this is my little brush to brush off the dust um like I said I have a lot of these pods from KISS but I just mix um glitter in this with white with clear acrylic powder or whatever when I want to do like a different design on my nails when I do have time um this is my little dapping dish this is my bondex from OPI that I use and you don't have to use that because I do also have um this one from Mia Secret and I purchased this one before well after I started purchasing that one only because I had a little lifting situation I was also using the OPI bond aid I was actually using the nail prep dehydrator the bond aid and the extra bonnex at the same time to dehydrate my nails because for some reason I have some crazy cuticles and I only have lifting with my index finger with these fingers on my right hand and I don't know if it's because this is my dominant hand and I use this hand more I don't know if because I wash my hands a lot at work if that's why but I never really have lifting at all on my left hand and that could also be because when I prep my left hand I'm prepping it with my dominant hand and I'm prepping my right hand with my left hand and that could be why my right hand is always lifting but um, I got these glitters where did I get these glitters from eBay I think and they're just little glitters as a matter of fact I think I did get that from eBay or Amazon my husband bought that for me for my birthday I think um, and this is just some cuticle oil I purchased this from eBay as well um, these are the little, what are they called? These are called Fimo, I think, where here's the razor on the inside. That's the razor. And you can cut these in little slices or whatever. And this is also like something you can lay underneath acrylic as well. Okay. So these are just caps from fingernail polish remover bottles that I had. And I use these because... I put acetone in here when I use polish to go around my cuticle area when I mess up or whatever instead of putting it in a dapping dish. So I just have these on hand. Um, so we went over this. Whoop. Went over this. Okay, now moving on. Um, I also got this D&D &D nail polish system and of course you may be saying, girl, don't you like purple? Well, purple is my favorite color, as you can see. But I got purple, purple, more purple, more purple, and like a pink. And this comes with gel and a regular polish. And I'm probably not going to use the regular polish that much. Um, but then again, I don't know. I started to give the, re the re regular polish away and keep the gel but then I thought about it well maybe if I wanted to do a quick polish change then I might as well keep the regular polish for now and see how that goes this I purchased from Sally's this is like a little practice finger or whatever so I can you know practice 
Okay, this is some instant cuticle remover. I only use this one time, guys, and I don't even know if it worked or not because my cuticles are like, when you remove them, they come right back. I don't know. So this is a little, I don't know where I got this cup from. I think it came out of like a detergent thing or whatever, but this is where like all my little brushes are, my little, um, what is this little picker or whatever um, my little scissors um, I just put that in there okay so I used to use absolute OPI but I stopped using it I only purchased this like maybe one time and this little pot is expensive I think it was like $15 but I ended up using it all and I put like a glitter mix in here which I need to throw away because I really don't use that anymore either. But it's what ifs. It's what ifs. Okay. So moving on to my Mia secret stuff. Oh, and this nail polish remover, I actually bought this as well from, where did I get this from? Got this from Sally's. And I use, like I said, I get pure acetone because I soak off my nails. Um, I used to bite them off and I used to tear my natural nails up, but I stopped doing that, okay? Okay, so now here's the Mia Secret stuff. So I purchased some brush cleaner and some brush conditioner. And I use this when I finish doing my acrylic set so I can clean my brushes. Do not put your brushes in acetone. Um, I did put my brush in acetone one time only to clean out the hard acrylic that was in there, but don't do that because then my brush started acting funky after that. Okay, so I purchased, I used to buy these little Mia Secret containers, but once upon a time I started doing my nails like once a week and it was just not enough so I started buying these four ounce containers and they last pretty long this is actually my new one and this one is old because I accidentally put white acrylic in with this so yeah so this is my clear this was a clear, but I have um, sanding bands in here now. That's like my new sanding band holder. So, um, here is your Mia Secret Cover Beige. Your Cover Rose. Your Cover Pink. Your Cover Nude. And also, you have the Multi Balance Natural Pink Acrylic System, which I am almost out of. Hold on. Can't really tell. Oh, there it is. Nope, oh, maybe not. Let's see if we can help. There we go. One handed Winnie. I don't have a tripod yet, but there it is. I'm almost out. So. I purchased a, another one and I actually got it in the mail on yesterday, I think it was. So I purchased this one, which is the four ounce. And I also purchased this, it came with it, the liquid monomer, and this was $27 for both of these. Um, I also, have more monomer but I'm almost out of that and this container is a mon mon is monomer I don't throw my old monomer away because I use my old monomer for 3d nail art like if I want to use my little mold this is what I use it for waste not one night um, I also bought this no lines I've tried to use this on my nails 
maybe I should go this way there we go I use that no fill line eraser and it actually does work and I can't remember if I used all three of these things at one time which was the extra bonics the OPI and the nail prep and then I put this on last maybe maybe I can't remember but it actually does work um I also have some Mia secret glow in the dark nail powder and I tried to use this but that didn't work out either and I also have Aladdin nail art and it's just like these nice little colors kind of pastelish but not and then I have the carnival set which I also purchased from eBay I want to say this set was $25 I'm not quite sure but you can type in me a secret um, carnival nail art and they also have different kinds and it comes it, it's all glitter it's all glitter and I actually this one is, let me see if I can focus, maybe not, maybe it won't do it. Well, if you scroll back to the beginning of the video, you can see, but this is the one that I use right here, the purple one for this nail design. Why won't it show? Mm. And this is my first video. Hopefully it works out. But anyway, um, let's open Natalie's package and see what we have inside. Hold on. I'm probably not going to edit this either because I don't know how to do all locks. I don't know how to do all locks. Is this all I bought? Maybe I did. Okay. So, this is what I purchased from Natalie's store, which is the Sarashi Crystal. This is the bling that she uses in her videos lovely this is her nail art box that she uses to put my blingage in yeah and this is her pineapple um cuticle oil yeah pineapple cuticle oil i'm so excited to use this um but that is all for now and just comment below you know hate is great but I'm just learning so it is whatever but stay tuned to more videos peace